if I learned anything at X Games, it's that I had some work to do. So I'm excited to uh, kind of get that fire back and get some of those gear tricks that I haven't been able to pull off yet this year. Denver, my first time ever coming to the show because it's usually during X Games, but X Games is over. And uh, so now I'm here hanging out with some of my sponsors and supporters and slapping high five, signing autographs. Uh, I'm gonna take you for a little walkabout, show you the show floor, what it's like here, and uh, maybe some of the cool products that are coming out next year. goggle lineup for next year as you can see there's some pretty awesome stuff on there one thing I in particular am excited about is this pair of whips right here you can see it's got some nice camo pattern this is actually Mount Rose uh, where I grew up skiing in the background and uh, there's a little uh, Mr. David Wise logo on there so these are my signature line from Bole that are coming out next year and so, yeah, get excited, like I am. And to match those goggles, we have my signature helmet. Um, this is one of the best fitting helmets I've ever had. It's super lightweight, obviously does its job. Um, I had a nice little digger in Breckenridge this year wearing this helmet. Smacked my head pretty good, but did not get a concussion, uh, which is always a bonus when you have a helmet that can, can kind of do the job that it's intended for. So, yeah, stuck with the camo camo feel you know because I'm a bow hunter and skier so uh, and then yeah the the mountain pattern obviously army green is pretty much as cool of a color as you get and uh, the Mr. Dave Wise logo Sneak in one more grease hunt, we'll see. And then head west back to Park City, Utah, and uh, World Championships are next week. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Here we go. Check it out. It's an absolute beauty of a day out here at Copper. Uh, Pre-World Champs training camp is going off. And uh, I need to do some switch doves today, hopefully. Or tomorrow. Just get some mileage on that trick. So that's kind of my goal for the day. Long lap on the chairlift at Copper. So you got to take full advantage by hiking.
hopper. We're having a heater of a day in more ways than one. It is very balmy out here. Uh, the polar vortex has departed, and now we're hanging out in the uh, beautiful, sunny temperatures and enjoying life. Uh, I'm working on some runs. I really feel like I, if I learned anything at X Games, it's that I had some work to do. So I'm excited to uh, kind of get that fire back and get some of those heater tricks that I haven't been able to pull off yet this year. And looking forward to World Championships just a week from now. <laughs> All right, well, today was a good day for sure. Got some switch left dubs, feeling good about that trick for the first time in a while. Didn't do any switch right dubs like I was hoping to, but uh, that's kind of how it goes. The pipe wasn't quite what I wanted to for today. One of the main things about this time of the year is like you start to get a little, a little weaker than you started the season out, and so it takes precision to, to land those tricks. And the last thing I want to do right now before World Champs is take a digger and uh, be dealing with any kind of bruising or injury during the contest so i decided to uh just uh save that for next week and yeah feel good about it feel pretty happy with uh, how things went and i had fun most importantly and i'm looking forward to uh making the drive to the west and doing a little bit of skiing in park city here soon yep. <laughs> what happens when you choose a snowboarder for a filmer <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, dog. <laughs>